Welcome to Whiskey is a Journey. Today's Wednesday, which means it is my segment called Sip It or Skip It. I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. I'm going to spin the wheel, whatever it selects. I'm going to pull it off the shelf, do a quick review, and then let you know if I'm going to keep sipping on the bottle until it's gone, and then I'm going to replace it because I like it. Or once I finish the bottle, I'm going to skip buying it and move on to something else. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what I am going to review today. All right, so we are looking at Nine Banded, Nine Banded Weeded. This is a weeded bourbon that I do believe was going to be in my weeded bourbon flights, my top five weeded bourbons, but I can't remember why this was not put in there. Let me go ahead and get this off the shelf, pour it, and then I'll nose it and taste it and we'll talk about it a little bit. All right, so here we go. We have Nine Banded. This is a weeded bourbon out of Austin, Texas. Just like always, the information for the whiskey is right here, along with my sip it or skip it tallies up to this point. Let's get this thing poured. Let's nose it, taste it, and let you know what I think. It's sweet. I can already smell it. All right, there is a medicinal cherry note. It smells a little hot. I have to remind myself, this is coming in at 109 proof, 54.5% uh, ABV. It is a single barrel that I picked up from Total Wine and More, and it is definitely smelling hot. And just like all weeded bourbons, I do get a, a bready wheat type roll. I think I've mentioned this before, I live in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, and we have a steakhouse here called Black Angus. I don't know if you do or not, but at the very beginning of the meal, they serve a, a weeded roll that has some crumble um, wheat on top. If you were to butter that and eat it or, or smell it, that's kind of what I'm getting out of the glass. It's a weeded roll. The sweetness, like I had mentioned, is cherry, and it, it does come across as medicinal. A touch of spice, like a very, very light amount of spice, a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon spice. All right, let's go ahead and get it on the palate, and maybe I can see why I didn't put this into my weeded bourbon flight. Whoa, that, <coughs> that is drinking hot. 109. Wow, that's hot. It's drinking hotter than 109. The ethanol is there. The medicinal cherry is there. There is a sweetness to it. I definitely get the weeded vibes that are happening. It feels like or it tastes like I'm eating a buttered weeded roll. I have noticed that there is a certain amount of softness on the palate. There's like a mouthfeel with weeded whiskeys. Even though this is drinking pretty hot, it does feel a little bit uh, fluffy or pillowy in the mouth. That's good. I don't, I'm not really digging the medicinal cherry or how hot it's drinking. That cinnamon spice I'm getting, uh, is a little bit further back on the palate. There's a bitterness in this, not barrel tannin, but there is a bitterness to this. And trying to concentrate on the finish, I'd put this at medium. It's definitely not short, it lingers a little bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't carry on with anything. Let me get that second sip down and concentrate on a little bit more if I can, see if I can pull anything else out of it. All right, so on that one, it's still drinking pretty hot. That ABV, just feels like it's evaporating off of my tongue. Medicinal cherry. There is a good sweetness in here, but I wouldn't say that it's fantastic. The heat and the medicinal cherry is overpowering any of the good sweetness that is in here. The wheat note is still there. Small amounts of brown sugar. Vanilla, mm, not so much vanilla, but there is a ton, a touch of vanilla. I think it's more brown sugar than it is vanilla. There's definitely more bitter than there is tannin, that barrel char. The finish lingers, but it's not a long finish. I wouldn't say that this develops into much of anything. It's pretty consistent from the arrival to the mid palate to the finish. The bitter, the medicinal cherry, that's all there. Let me get that third sip down, and then we'll move on to whether or not this is going to be a sip or a skip. All right, I'm pretty sure the reason why I did not put this into my five bottle flight when we did weeded bourbons, part one, part two, and part three, this didn't make it in any of them. 
and it is because this drinks extremely hot. The bitterness that I'm getting in the finish is not so good. The medicinal cherry note has calmed down quite a bit, but it's still medicinal, but I do like the cherry note. I definitely like the soft pillowy mouthfeel that weeded bourbons give me. And because of all that, you probably already know, this is definitely going to be a skip. Let me know in the comments down below if you are familiar with Nine Bandit, if you have had any of their offerings. And in general, this is a Texas bourbon. It's a Texas weeded bourbon. Let me know what you guys think of Texas products. Do you like them? Do you not like them? I have a few offerings of Texas whiskey. I believe this is the only Texas weeded bourbon that I have. I have a couple of Balconies. I have single malt. I have their bourbon. I have their rye. I have still Austin. And even though people are saying that Texas whiskey has a specific funk to them, I don't really think that I can pick up anything specific to say, hey, this is a funk that I'm getting across the board with the Texas bourbons, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever picked up on a Texas funk with their bourbons, their single malts, their weeded bourbons, anything that you've had from Texas. Do you pick up on anything strange? Let me know what that strange note would be in the comments. And I guess this would be a good time to say, if you're new to the channel or if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this information, why not subscribe? Doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is just click on that little subscribe button right down there. Turn that bell notification on. If you do like this material, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't think I really have anything else much to say about a Nine Banded, their weeded bourbon. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And just like always, I hope you are enjoying your journey because I am certainly enjoying mine. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.